The Dewu K136 Kaoryang forward slash Guryong serves the modern Republic of Korea Armed Forces Ro KAF, South Korea, as a dedicated multiple launch rocket system (MLRS). Such battlefield solutions are utilized to saturate target areas with rocket fire involving various warhead types ranging from conventional to nuclear, chemical, and biological. The K-136 is no doubt influenced by the Soviet-Russian BM-21 series and similar Katyusha wheeled truck MLRS solutions. The overall design saw development work under the Agency for Defense Development span from 1973 until 1978 with initial K-136 units being introduced in 1981. Hanwha was responsible for the development of the rocket component. The original K-136 units have since been superseded by the K-136A1 beginning in 1987 with these forms bringing about use of stainless steel launch tubes and a revamped hydraulic system. The vehicle tips the scales at 16.4 tons and has a running length of 25 feet with a beam reaching 8. 2 feet and a height of 9.5 feet. The truck sees a conventional arrangement used with the engine compartment at the bow and the driving cab directly aft. The rear of the truck is a flatbed configuration. A three-axle wheeled configuration allows for limited water fording and cross-country travel. The truck can hit road speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. The launcher is set atop a trainable mounting over the rear of the truck chassis and holds 36 rockets in a 9 across slash 4 down arrangement. The launch tubes are contained in a hollowed-out reinforced structure for ease of maintenance and replacement of the entire component. The launcher unit can swivel and elevate along its mounting and therefore fire in any direction regardless of the vehicle's actual facing. The rockets are 130mm in caliber and can consist of the K-30, K-33, K-37, and K-38 marks. Each differs mainly in attack ranges offered, from 23 km in the K-30 to 30 km in the K-38. The South Korean Army took on about 150 of the vehicles and the A models arrived from 1987 until 1991. The Philippine Army has also ordered the type with deliveries expected during 2022 to 2023. The South Korean Army has used the more modern K-239 Chunmu design to succeed the Cold War era K-136 line. These began operational service in 2015 and are detailed elsewhere on the military factory.